U. Winter XA0 is the best time to get into green laning. The main roads are icy and clogged preventing you from getting your two-wheeled fix. XA0 So why not take to the nation's network of green lanes XA0 for some muddy fun. Here, S5 dual-purpose bikes that XA0 offer a low-cost introduction to the sport. Quote. You, it's better to look for a dual-purpose trail bike rather than a pure off-roader for a couple of reasons. Quote. You, firstly, a green lanner needs to be road legal as green roads are legal carriageways. It'll be much easier and cheaper to buy a bike designed to be used on road rather than convert an off-roader. Quote. You, secondly, off-road bikes are high-performance machines with peaky engines. For general green laning you want to use most of a true off-roader as potential. XA0 bottom end brunt is much more useful than all-out power. Quote. You, lightweight is one of the most important characteristics of a green laner. So small capacity bikes make sense. Electric start is also a huge advantage. Possibly even essential as having to kickstart XA0 your bike bike over and over after offs and stops will get old fast. You, here, S5 budget XA0 dual purpose bikes that are perfect for getting to and from green lanes and enjoying yourself when you re there. Quote, you, XA0, you, the Dr. Z400 is a reliable little single that is easy to work on and parts are cheap. It's too heavy for proper off-roading but perfectly fine for green lane work. As a bonus, it also makes a pretty good town bike during the week and the single-cylinder 39 bhp power plant XA0 pulls well from low down. Electric start, quote, U, XA0, U, the TT250R is another tough little enduro bike with a plucky single-cylinder engine. It's completely reliable, but it's a tall bike with a XA0 seat height XA0 of 895 mm. So anyone under 6 foot may find it a handful on muddy green lanes. Electric start comes as standard, as do.